Big Bandit. Pound DC, Sunday night movie. 99 cents. Are you kidding? The Ice King tried to solve Ben Franklin's locker puzzle. But so did the Lego Maniac. Lego Maniac! The Ice King wasn't cool enough to outsmart a Lego maniac. Lego truck, stormtrooper boat, and Ben's locker sold separately. Maniac not included. Yo, what's going on guys and welcome back! Lego maniac! I got that in my head now for the entire week. We were trying to emulate the commercials of the 90s, man. This is nostalgic for me. This is what the Lego commercials used to look like. Crazy Charlie was on the loose, but so was a maniac. Lego maniac! <laughs> So we did our best in trying to replicate some of those old feels and those old vibes. Feels really good, man. This is a really cool puzzle we got for you today. This is a Benjamin Franklin's coffin, or, or locker rather, and it looks like this. It is crafted by a guy called Cheat3 on YouTube. Guy doesn't have a lot of subscribers, to be honest. Man, this dude builds the most intricate and insane Lego puzzles, and not only that, he has tutorials on how to build them yourself. So if you got the parts, he probably has a part list. You guys can check it out. And Build your own and follow along if you want. He sent me two of them. We're gonna do one of them today. And if you guys like this video, uh, rate the like buttons over there. If you guys, <laughs> over here, over here. Uh, along with this puzzle comes this sheet of paper. It says Ben Franklin's locker. Objective, get the cash. Uh, rules, number one, caveman rule, pretty funny. Do not bang it, hit it, drop, jar, or throw. Okay, caveman rule. I think I'm gonna adopt that, no caveman rules. Brute force rule, no force movements when pieces are allowed to move. They will move freely or with some smooth resistance rather than suddenly. And three, the Johnny Five rule. Each puzzle has at most a single tool that may separate from the box if you are using more than one separate piece as a tool, then you are beginning to disassemble the puzzle. Do not disassemble. Full build tutorial on my Cheat3 YouTube channel. I will link that below if you guys are so interested. So thank you so much Cheat3 for sending this by. Without any further ado, what, what, wait, without any further ado, what was it? Born to build. Lego maniac. Let's go. Here we go. Look at this. By the way, probably a big difference in audio right now. We're trying out a new audio system. Something to pleasure your eardrums a little bit more. So, the, I mean, one thing you can see here is his eyes, just like the eyes of Ben Franklin there and some cool things going on. I like the color scheme that he chose. Let's, uh, let's go ahead and try and solve this mystery box. Let's zoom in a bit here. So this here doesn't come out. There's absolutely no forcing required, by the way, so I will not be forcing anything. This is so cool how someone can make a puzzle that's actually hard to solve using Legos. Like, that blows my mind. So if I push on this, it does protrude a little square right here. However, that's as far as it goes without any forcing. If you're hearing footsteps, um, you're probably hearing them a lot louder today. Those are my neighbors. <laughs> Wild and crazy neighbors. Well, that's attached to this here. Okay. Did I forget the timer? I did forget the timer. BRB. Hmm. So far, no luck on anything. There's no loosened piece anywhere. There's this gap here, which I'm guessing something has to go into there eventually. This doesn't turn. I can't push it or pull it. The old spin move, negative. There's this little square in the middle too that just goes in ever so slightly. Kind of, uh, kind of already stumped. This is cool. I enjoy this a lot. There's, see, I'm expecting to like run my fingers down the sides here or the top and something to just give. Something to either push in, come out, or slide. There doesn't seem to be any of that right now, except this little piece again. And this little piece that just comes out just a little bit when this is pushed in, that's it. You did mention there's a tool, so I'm wondering what the tool exactly is. Is the tool just the part that I pull off, like this here? Is that is this a tool here? Do I use this as a tool? Because that would make sense, because otherwise there's no reason for that. Let me read the instructions just to make sure. Each puzzle has at most a single tool piece that may separate from the box. If you're using more than one separate piece, as a tool, then you're beginning to disassemble the puzzle. Okay, so I think that this might be a tool. Oh, there definitely is a moving part here somewhere. Unless that's just Ben Franklin and they're rattling around, which it might be. You see what I'm trying to do? I'm just trying to use this to push one of these parts in, but nothing seems to be moving at all. 
thought one thing would at least give. I honestly thought this was gonna be a piece of cake and this guy was like, yeah, it's a level nine, you know, just throwing a random number out there. But so far, I mean, we're probably seven or eight minutes in and I'm kind of stumped right now. So that particular one is attached to here. So that cannot move at all. Oh, here we go. First move. Ah, you see, I had to take that part off so that this moved out of the way. Anyways, I hope so. Boom, move number one is take this part off, move that out of the way. That's a really cool move. And then I'm guessing this here. No. Okay, what did that do? Did that free up anything? What if I wasn't even supposed to take this piece off though? Cause then the, these two would be held in place. I mean, if that was the case, you could even put it like this. It, it probably has nothing to do with anything else. Okay, so that went there. Oh. That went all the way in this time. Oh, and this came out. Okay, so this goes all the way in. Boom. That comes out. Maybe now this has to slide. Also, this piece came out. Oh, so this piece too. Right here. Boom. Ooh, that came out. Let's go. Maybe this has to come back out again. Let's backtrack here. That came out first. So here's how it went. This one goes, boom, pops that out. That also slides out. Wait, so that pops out. This goes forward, which slides this piece out. That then comes out. Or does that need to stay out? This is a really well designed puzzle so far, I can tell you that. There's something blocking this middle one from coming out as well. See you, I see you, Ben. This moves slightly. This piece here prevents this piece from pushing forward this gray one here. It overlaps, there's like a notch right here. And that piece stops it from moving forward. So my guess is this piece has to go in so that this piece can slide out and this piece can push through. That's my guess. Then there's this as well. What would you guys do right now? What would you attempt? Now, is this sequential to where if I made a move that wasn't correct, it would stop another move from happening? Because if that's so, then the difficulty level just went up. So this goes in, this goes in here. Why isn't this in? There we go. So that was the start of it. Started with this here. Here's something weird. When I shake this, watch this little square. It starts to come out more and more, actually more and more. Oh my God. Ah. Oh, now this comes, oh, okay, here we go. We're getting somewhere. So if this came out, it's so weird. Look at that, how weird is that? If I shake it, how do you even come up with something like that? That's insane. We've got all sorts of protruding parts now. This part hasn't moved yet, and this part hasn't moved yet. Everything else we've, we've figured out. We've gotten to a point where everything else kind of moves here. What would that unlock? 
seems to be attached to that. <gasps> On the bottom, something just went out. Look at that, that little square here. That just pushed in. What does that do? Okay, I'm gonna push it up. Ooh, that's sneaky. What a sneaky little move. So that goes in and it's just free moving until I go here and then I push that up. Now that's locked into place. Wow, fancy. I like that. This is actually really genius. Okay. Now we're on to the next set of moves somewhere. It's not here. Just come out more, I think. No. This either. That's already out. Oh, is it? Does it? Oh! We're getting close here. Getting close here, folks. Ooh, there's a money sign. Look at that, there's a little cash. A little bit of cash there. But she's stuck. Oh, okay, I gotta push that back up and then pull. <gasps> Boom! Let's go. What? There's an actual $2 bill in here? Oh, but it's a, look at that. There's another one there, is it? Oh, it's just taped there. Oh, wow, cool. Baby. I just made $2. Is this real money? It looks like real money, it feels like real money. Wow, cool. Boop, stop that right there. So. This is actually really, really sick. I've done a Lego puzzle before, which was really cool, but it did feel a little flimsy. This one, like, I I really forced some parts, and then it's like he took into account which way it would force because there's no way it would come apart. Now, I don't know what the deal is with, uh, with this middle piece here, but... I guess we didn't need that. Yep, there you go. So putting it back together, it would be step one. You'd have to push down on that to get that in. That clicks back down. You then push this part in, push that part in, that, 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 and this. Come on. Oh, is it? Here. Then this. Then this. Maybe it was. Like that. Is that right? Does that feel right? It doesn't feel right. Boom. Okay, that goes in there as well. Then this. That was protruding. That was protruding. And was this protruding over here? I believe so. So that is the final solve. Let's go through it one more time just to make sure that we have it. The tool comes off the top. It is used. We can use it to pull this, push that back, push this piece through. Oops, sorry. Push this piece through here, pull this out. Once that's pulled out here, we're gonna wiggle this and jiggle it and watch that little piece protrude out of nowhere so weird pull this boom lock that into place with that square and there we go wow so cool i'm gonna put that two dollars right back in there boom locked boom whoops uh, this one here. Oh, first this side here. Oh. Boom. 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 
And there you have it, the Ben Franklin puzzle, Lego puzzle box, absolutely amazing. Very, very happy with this, very satisfied, great solve, great toy. And uh, again, if you guys wanna learn how to build this yourself, he's got like an hour long video teaching you how to build it, so go check it out. Hey, hot, dang, we did it. That was actually, that was actually really tough, not gonna lie. The, I remember doing the, the other Lego puzzle that I didn't know a lot of uh, people like that. That was a great puzzle. However, it did feel a little bit flimsy because it had some elastic parts in it that, that shifted around or you know may or may not break. This one, I can tell you for certainty that there's some points that I really forced probably harder than I should have. And the resistance was there. Like there was no way you could force and break it apart. The ways you were forcing were really just uh, against other pieces. They weren't, you know, detaching. A great little sequential discovery puzzle. It used a tool, it is a sequential discovery. Nice little $2 bill for me waiting on the inside. I love this thing. I think the solve is great. I think this is genius. Uh, I like the color scheme. And again, I'm, I'm assuming you can choose your own colors when you build this thing. So really exciting and fun for those of you out there who are into Legos, who are into puzzles and wanna challenge yourself by building something for your friends or maybe even coming up with your own, who knows? Anyways, guys, like this video, subscribe if you're new here, and we'll see you on the next video. Peace.